guys! Today I'm going to be making this moon face chime. I've been seeing a lot of these on Pinterest and I thought they were just so pretty and that I wanted to make one and I figured it'd be pretty simple to make. So if you want to make one too, then just keep watching. So to make this, you're going to need a cereal box or some kind of cardboard. You're going to need some gold paint. I have gold and copper here from Liquitex, they're the basics paints. You're going to need a pencil, scissors, a paintbrush. You are also going to need glue. Um, and some kind of gloss finish, and you're also going to need string. So to start off, I'm just cutting open the cereal box because I'm going to be drawing circles on the inside. You're going to need five different shaped circles, or not shape, five different size circles, but you're going to need double of each because you're going to glue them together to make them um, thicker, to make your moon faces thicker. Um, this, it's kind of hard to explain, but you're going to need different sizes. I just grabbed cups or paint bottles to create different size circles, but remember you're going to need double of each size. So I marked out a total of 10 circles. For the middle phase, you want that one to be the biggest circle. Unless you want your moon phases to all be the same size, I just, the picture I saw on Pinterest, they were all different sizes, so that's what I did. And then you're going to cut them out. want to double them up uh, to have double of each size and glue them together but that's just what I did and then you're going to draw your moon phases onto the circles and then cut them out and then cut the other piece as well because you're going to glue them together and I used I used a picture on Pinterest Pinterest as a reference for the moon phases um, but you can cut them however you want I decided that I wanted my top moon phase to be a little smaller because in the picture that I saw on Pinterest, the top moon phase is the smallest and now I'm just cutting my middle moon phase which is the largest. And then you're going to situate them how you want. And now you're going to get a piece of string however long you want and this is what you're going to attached to your moon faces. Now you're going to want to glue the shiny side of your cardboard if you're using like a cereal box. You're going to want to glue those sides together so that you paint on the more porous side because painting on a shiny surface is just harder and then you have more color to cover up. So you're going to glue the string in between your cardboard pieces. That way you don't have to poke holes in your cardboard to attach the string. I thought this would be a lot easier. So that's just what you're going to do. And I made sure that each moon phase was two inches apart so that they were even and I just wasn't just guessing. I made sure I used a ruler. And I'm using Collage Podge as my adhesive because the glue I tried to use before was not cooperating. And you're just going to glue each moon phase with the string in the middle together. For the middle one, um, what you're going to do, you're still going to glue the string in between the cardboard, but I tilted my moon face a little bit because I didn't want it to be, um, I wanted it to be centered. I didn't want my moon face to be too far to the right. So you're just going to glue them together. Even though the string is visible on the moon face. And that way, what you're going to do is you're just going to cut that string that's visible in the middle of the moon. Because in the picture, 
that's how the moon looked. It was kind of tilted a little bit. So you're just gonna cut that and then continue with the rest of your moon faces. Also going to want to make sure that you don't end the string at the last moon phase. Don't cut it off. You're going to want to leave some string hanging. Want to leave some extra string on the bottom. And then you're just going to want to leave it to dry for a little while. And when you're done, you're ready to paint it. And I use the Liquitex Basics Gold Paint. I really like this paint. I did about two coats, I believe. And you're going to want to paint the string as well. And because we are painting on the cardboard side, you don't have a lot of color to cover up, which is nice. But if you wanted to, you could paint this black. You can paint it whatever color you want. I saw some black um, moon phases, which looked nice, but in my room, I thought the gold would look the best. You want to paint all of the string. You don't want to have white string peeking through. And I did take some copper and some black and mix them together and I attempted to put it around the edges of each moon phase. But then some got on the gold and then I didn't think it was such a great idea. <laughs> but I still like that it gave it some, some depth, I guess. And then I also did the string. And I did end up going back over with the gold because I didn't care for it that much. Now when you're done and it's dry, it's the next day, I am putting a finish on it. I am putting this Sargent, uh, let me see. Sargent Art Laminating Glue. You can get this at Hobby Lobby for like $2.50. It's really thick, which is perfect for this because it gives it a really nice, thick, glossy look. And I'm really like packing it on to the moon phases. I tried one overnight and I I liked how it looked. Now this does take forever to dry. And I didn't want to use a glue gun, a heat gun on it because I didn't want to risk it bubbling or just, I didn't want to risk anything. So I just left it for hours to dry, but you really want to make sure you pack it on so that it looks really almost like glass when, when it's dry. 
And I didn't mind if there was some texture on the moon phases with some of the glue, like if it was really thick in some places and not in others because then it gave it some texture. I did both sides and I really liked how it looked. It felt kind of like glass. Um, and now for the finishing touch, I am putting just a bead on the bottom of the moon phases. That's why you need extra string in case you want to put something on the bottom to dangle. And I'm using a crimp. This bead came in a set, or not a set, in a strand that I got at Michael's. And I'm just using the crimp to crimp it on there. The bead is optional, but I really felt that it added a lot to the moon chime. I really liked the bead, and you can use whatever bead that you want. And crimps, you can pretty much find them anywhere. And this is the end result. I love it. It looks like exactly like the picture on Pinterest. And I wanted to bring you guys up close so you guys can see how glossy and glass-like the moon phases looked. I really like this laminating glue. It worked it was awesome. I really, really liked it. And you could use like glossy accents or something like that, but I would have had to use a ton of it to cover the moon phases, so this worked out perfect. I didn't use the whole bottle. You know, I used maybe a third of it, and it was really inexpensive. And this is where I have it in my room, by my window. I love it. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching the video. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and follow me on Pinterest, Twitter, Instagram, my vlog channel, and uh, what's the other one? Vine. <laughs> so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.